Hello sales message, Anton from Product Marketing here and in this video I would like to walk you through our 10 DLC uh, A2P registration starting from business profile and going through the registration of campaign itself. So here we are in a trial account and uh, this is a brand new account specifically open for the sake of this demo. So in order to start your 10 DLC compliance journey uh, you need to go to settings and you now have a new compliance tab in the settings which would allow you to start your business registration right away so right now if i click anywhere here i would go to the same place which would be upgrade you uh, cannot register for 10 dlc unless you upgrade so let's do this real quick and then once we are on the pay subscription we can start the registration. So again, first thing first, what we need to do is register our business profile. And 10 DLC A2P is useful and required only for those who are sending SMS messages to United States customers. So for the sake of this demo, I'll choose the United States. And I will, ha I will choose a EIN number because I'm going to be registering our sales message business as an example. So here is one of the most important steps and here you will need to find your business. So you can do this either by uh, inputting your the name of the business like so. There we go. Or uh, by inputting EIN. So let me do this. As you can see, it's the same information. And uh, you can check it. If you, if you think something is wrong, you can go to enter manually tab and correct it manually. Or if you can't find your business, you can input the, all the information uh, by hand. If you do this, however, you would need to include IRS EIN document in order for to, to confirm that your business is legit and that it's just not found in uh, in the software for some reason so let us continue with this so here are a few additional fields about your business here is the type of business and for a sales message I'm going to choose LLC here are a lot of industries, so please choose the one that is the most closest to you. I'll choose consumer. Here is the website URL, and please note that this uh, this should be a reachable website because this is uh, checked by carriers during the vetting process. Uh, this field is optional, and this is a social media profile. You can use your social media profile as a website URL if you don't have a website. And then business region of operation, usually it's USA and Canada. Uh, again, as I said, A2P 10 DLC is useful for those sending SMS messages to USA customers. Uh, this is an authorized user number one. And what you usually want to do is input somebody of a high position from your business who can be easily verified as a person working in your business. So for the sake of this demo, I will uh, add our uh, co-founder and CEO. And then here, uh, what we need is a legitimate mobile phone number because again, this may or may not be checked by carriers during the review process. And what you want is, uh, to have is a person again who is reachable, who can be traced back to your business uh, because we already had some of the rejection uh, for authorized user not being reachable. Here we go. If you want to include more than one, we have given you this ability. It's exactly the same fields, but it's not required. But this uh, confirmation is required 
again for the sake of the review. And as the last step, you confirm that you agree with the terms and services, and then you submit the profile. We are halfway there. The second step that we need to do is do the actual A to B10 DLC registration. And then here, first thing we need to do is to choose a package. Package is chosen based on the amount of messages you are sending. So if it's more, a less than 2000 messages per day, you would choose for a low volume standard. If it's more, you would choose standard. And uh, for business type, you can choose private or public. And if you go public, you will have to input the stock ticker and the stock exchange. Uh, but if your company is private, just choose private. Next is the use case. Here is the list of supported use cases. And I'm going to choose marketing. And then for use case description, it should not be long or very detailed, but it should be as close to your real use case as possible. For example, I have prepared a short description like this. Uh, now, this these are sample messages. So what carriers want to see in your sample messages are some specific keywords like stop to stop or help for help. So it would be a good idea to include those even if you don't plan to send them out all the time to all customers. Uh, here I'm gonna show you uh, two examples of some uh, pretty good sample messages. So here's one. And then I will show you the demo form in a second. And then here's two. So what I would like to point out is that you have the business name inside the message and then you have the uh, stop keyword that is very useful, uh, that, that is looked for by the carriers in the review. Uh, this is also a very important step and uh, we do have some rejections due to this not being filled properly. Uh, what this is, is opt-in methods. Uh, you can choose one of the four or you can choose multiple. And if you choose multiple, you will need to do the same steps as we would do for one, just for, for all of them. I would choose online form and in my experience, it's one of the most popular way to enroll customers into your uh, text messaging. So what we want to do here is to explain how the actual user goes through your online form and how does, uh, do, how do your users give your consent. And here is the short description I prepared. Again, it doesn't have to be long. In this case, it's just two sentences, but it needs to be as close to reality as possible. And then very important uh, step, you need to choose a file uh, to show your actual, in this case, uh, opt-in form. And I have a sales message demo form, uh, which we are using for demonstration purposes. And you can actually find this form. It's a live form. Uh, it's it's uh, on our website. So here you can see we have this uh, language again. We have business name. We have stop to end and help for help. Both are uh, keywords that are looked for by the carriers. So we upload this, see this uh, popped up, and then we continue. And then again, this is the last step. Uh, you pay for the vetting. Sales message does not charge any premium on this. The, these are uh, prices that are passed down uh, to us from, uh, from the vetting companies and carriers. And uh, basically that's it. Once you have uh, filed your registration, there can be a few days of uh, approval and again, what we added recently is the estimated response time. So we are estimating about uh, six to seven uh, business days for a brand and then the same time frame for brand and use case. Uh, if 
you are rejected for some reason, you will see the rejection message and the rejection reason inside the UI, and you will be able to uh, to go into your application, make appropriate changes, and then resubmit. Uh, we do not charge you for a resubmission, uh, but we will show the cost of the, the price that you've seen just now as well. So. Thank you. That's it. Leave, uh, leave any questions uh, in the comments below and happy texting.